What's going on guys? Today we're going to have a very important conversation about something that's possibly going to happen this year and more than likely will be in full effect next year. What are we talking about? The recession. Right now, FedEx is shutting down 29 centers. Walmart's shutting down centers and stopping their building. Trucking is 77% down. And we're getting a lot of information. We have banks that are failing. A lot of information that we're heading into a recession. And I wanna talk about what I think is happening. Let's go back to 2020. This was the year of the pandemic. And the government put in billions, if not trillions of dollars into the economy with the PPP loans, with the EIDL loans, with direct payments, with enhanced unemployment, and people spent that money and they dramatically inflated the economy. People got into trucking, people got into Airbnb, people got into Toro. So there was a lot of what I would have called artificial activity. The economy boomed. We had a lot of things that were going on and now that the economy is returning back to normal, this is creating a problem for everyone that got the artificial inflation. So the economy is slowing down, the economy is going back to normal, and the money is just simply not there. So once again, I'm being real careful because at the moment we're not in a recession economically from a standard viewpoint of two consecutive quarters of downward growth but there are many companies that are in recessions there are many companies that are in depressions how would you prepare for this activity what would you do to prepare yourself for this activity and that brings me back to 2009 we had shut down the upscale garage sale my business partner was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer I got sick, neither one, of, neither one of us was in a position to run the business, so we had to shut it down. And then as I got better, and I started thinking, what am I gonna do? I'm still a young man, I still gotta do something. So I came to the internet, I did a lot of things that didn't work out. I actually got halfway finished with a book that I did not finish, and then I started writing Making Money A to Z with Self Storage Unit Auctions. And this was the launch of my pure internet career. Now, what do I mean pure? My money came from my organic, and this was uh, something that was created 100% by me to go on and get people installed in the storage auction business. And from 2009, 2010, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, were some really good years for that book because that's what I used the YouTube channel to market the book, to sell the book. I had a YouTube channel, I had a blog, I had Amazon. I was making a lot of money in a recession. One of the things that you need to do is actually get busy. I know there's a lot of people out there who are talking about, hey, this recession's coming, the dollar's about to be devalued. We got all these things and we need to be scared. I have a bit of advice for you. Don't be scared, take action. Because when I was working on my YouTube channel, when I was working on my book, when I was working on my blog, when I was doing all this stuff, I didn't even think about a recession. All I knew was my first year I made $62,000. And my second year I made $92,000. And once again, let me give you the full flavor of the situation. I was not in a lot of debt. Now at the time, I owned two houses. I was living in one, one I was renting out. And that was my debt load, those two mortgages. But I didn't have car payments, I didn't have credit card payments, and I had a lot of money stashed in the bank. I mean a lot of money. And my budget was $1,850 per month. Because I put so much money down on my house that my mortgage was literally nothing. So. I had money to live for years at that 1850 and with my additional renter. So one of the things that I wasn't really pressed about because I had a car that was paid off, um, I just had a very good situation to grow into. Now that may or may not be your situation. I really don't know. I hope that you're as close to, because you know, 
The second house, I think I was making like 300 bucks per month after all bills were paid, after the mortgage was paid. And it, it wasn't a lot of money, but the thing is I didn't have to pay that mortgage. So as long as I had a renter and I remember I was actually having a conversation with the renter who was thinking about moving. And I said, what if I don't raise your rent? He said, I'll stay. Cause that was the thing he was worried about. So actually I downgraded his rent a hundred bucks to keep him in there because as long as he was in there, I didn't have to worry about that mortgage. I didn't have to worry about paying it. And that was my biggest concern. And as we moved on, um, I sold both houses and I, you know, it, it's kind of funny now. I think about it. If I held, held on to those houses until recently, I would have made probably three or $400,000, you know, but I just sold them, got rid of the debt, um, moved into an apartment and just began living my La Vida Loca life. But I really, I, I want you to think about this. And this was a really bad recession for a lot of people. A lot of people got hurt really bad. A lot of people lost their 401k. Housing prices crashed at that time, housing crashed. But I never worried about the recession because I was so engaged, I was so busy, I was so working on my business that I didn't have time to even think about a recession. Once again, I don't know what your debt level is. I don't know how much money you owe. I have no clue to what those particular areas are but I, I will say from a debt standpoint i didn't have a lot of debt in my mind even though i did have debt i didn't have a lot of debt because i was only responsible in my mind for my mortgage payment on my house which incidentally because i put so much down it really wasn't that much of a deal and it allowed me to focus i mean Sitting down every day and writing a book is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I mean, I was doing this four hours a day for three months straight, every day, except, you know, some weekends. Some days I did write seven days a week. It just depends because I, I had a word goal. I had a certain a goal that I wanted to achieve. And as long as I achieved my goal, I didn't write on the weekends. But sometimes I didn't, sometimes it was a struggle and that led me to writing on the weekends. But when you involve yourself in starting a business and you're not loaded down with debt, that's the key. That's the, to me, that's the key. I didn't have a lot of debt. I, I just didn't. I didn't. And that made it easier for me to grow, to pursue, to explore, to look at new things. That opened up a lot of doors for me. Didn't have a lot of debt. Didn't have really a lot of responsibility. And one of the things that I want to share with you is at one point I became obsessed and I became very, very deeply involved in my publishing business, which was called Conundrum Publishing. And I was just so deep on that. I was just so passionate about that, that it completely took all my attention. And even though from a conscious standpoint, I knew there was a recession from a personal reality, there was no recession. And that's the, the point that I want to make to you guys, that when you guys get into building, creating a business, growing yourself, you become so obsessed with doing that, that if you're just really putting all your all into this business and to get it to grow and get it to be something, get it to build, to become something, you just don't have time to think or ponder or wonder about a recession. And the number one thing is you are busy, you're working, you're doing the things that you need to do to prepare yourself for your future. Uh, recently, last month, I did a course, the money management course, and this month I did the productivity course and I have been involved and obsessed and working on that. And this is what happened. The money management course, which was shorter than the productivity course, took me longer to complete than the productivity course. Now, what, what is happening? I am getting back into my mode of being busy, getting back into my mode. Like there, there's so much stuff to come. There's so many things that are going to come this year. And one of the things 
that I am seeing as I have become evolved. I've been starting to do the work. I started, you know, let me explain to you what's happening with me. And maybe you can take some clues from this. Once again, I revamped the YouTube channel. I revamped my training. I'm also revamping my life. One of the things I want to share with you is I look back because if you've been around a while, you know, there, there's been multiple training programs. I didn't really like that. I didn't really like that. I was like, you need to put together some training that is durable. You need to put together a platform that you don't have to change. You don't have to upgrade. You don't have to do something new that you can just put out this content and sell it and sell it and sell it and upgrade the stuff from the internal, you know, if you need to upgrade it. So this has led me to a place where I'm building differently. If you notice, and I know this, this is one of the things that I talk about. The beginning is tough, right? The beginning is tough. And I knew that the beginning was going to be tough, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's just not even close because I, I really thought it was going to be dark doo doo. And um, what's going to happen with this platform, IEatFire.com, is this going to be the last training platform that I think I, I say that now, but something else could happen in the future. But this is going to be a very durable. It's going to be a very easy. It's going to be. And one of the things is the money course is on its own platform. It's its own platform. That's the only thing I'm going to put in there. I'm going to leave it alone. You can get access to it. It's in the comment section. It's in the, the, the uh, description and it's going to be free forever because I understand that a lot of people need to have very good money management redirection and education. And now this is kind of somewhat a day off. Uh, I didn't go to the gym this morning. I just went out, ran some errands and stuff. And I've been just thinking, thinking, thinking tomorrow I'm going to the gym tomorrow. I'm going to the gym. But today was a day to just kind of lay back, relax a little bit. Just think about some stuff. And I've been thinking, 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 thinking of the next course and the next thing I'm going to do. And it's coming down. It's coming to me. And I'm here to say that I feel very much that we're heading into a recession, if not this year, by 2024. And what is my answer for a recession? Create and build, create and build. Do not just sit by and watch it happen. Be out here because here's the thing. And I always look at this. The greatest re depression, the Great Depression was the worst recessionary decade. It lasted 10 years that we've ever had in America. 25% unemployment. And I look during the Great Depression, the worst economic event that we've had in America for a very long time. People still got rich. Back then, people still got rich during the Great Depression. And that is at the focus, that, that's, that's what I'm thinking is like, if you do the right things, you put the right things out, you put the right offers out, you go ahead and do certain things, even though the reality, there's a recession, there's dark economic winds over here. But if you do what you need to do, you won't feel it. You will not feel it. And you know, we're in a very high inflationary period. I live in a high rise and a lot of people moved out. I mean, the guest parking, I can literally go by there anytime and it's, oh, it's mostly empty. When I moved in here, it was packed. When I moved in here, this building was full. And right now, a lot of people have moved out because this building is pretty pricey. And honestly, I have not noticed. I haven't noticed the price of gas. I haven't noticed the price of food. Look, look, I'm about to straight up confess something to you. Since I have moved in this building, I have not gone to the grocery store. Anytime I need something from the grocery store, there's a service called Instacart. If I need something from the grocery store, I'm going to go to my app. I'm going to Instacart it. I have not been to the grocery store. Uh, typically, uh, I eat out a lot. And then the way that I live my life has not been impacted by inflation. I need gas. Credit card goes in the gas machine. I get my gas, I go on my way. What I understand, what I see, what I know, because I'm in a building and creative mode. I am not going to use any of the old coursework, which, because here's the thing, a lot of those courses, which were good, and they still have benefit, they were too long, and they were too involved. And since I believe in creating courses, guess what I do? I take courses. 
I buy a course in a minute if I think it's going to help me. I buy a course. And because I'm buying courses, I have learned so much. And this new course, the new way I'm going to do this, because right now I'm thinking, I'm thinking, it's like, how are we going to put out this next thing? What are we going to do? What are we going to create? What are we going to build? What are we going to? And I'm sitting there like, oh, I know what we can do. Because I'm in that creative building mode. I'm right back in 2023 where I was in 20, 2009, except I got way more things going for me because let, let, let me just share something with you. When I revamped the YouTube channel, I pissed off a lot of people and a lot of people left. And that's just fair because if you if I'm putting out content that you don't want to watch, why well, hang around? It makes no sense. But that was intentional because I have a theory and we're going to see how this theory works because when I was making all that money, 2010, 2011, 2012, I had a really small YouTube channel, but I was getting traffic to the blog. I was getting traffic from the storage auction shows. But right now it's just kind of me, right? But I just have a feeling that how I'm gonna do this, how I'm gonna set this off, how I'm going to deliver this, is going to be so profound because I'm in that building stage. I'm in that creative stage. I'm, I'm building, creating, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. And it's, it's just taking me to a different space. The productivity course, that is what I'm using to build out everything. It's not something just I created. It's how I use and live my life. And once again, the beginning is tough. I knew the money management course did better. Red light, 1500 students in the money management course. And I knew the productivity course would be a harder sell because people are not like, once again, I'm about to say some stuff that may be a little offensive, but I'm gonna say it anyway. You can have a white dude create a YouTube channel talking about productivity and it will blow up. I'm a black dude and I will say it's done better than I thought it would, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I was prepared not to get one sale for that productivity course, and I'm about to tell you why. The money management course is critical. The productivity course is critical. And I'm working on building the critical things. In the productivity course, I tell you, do the hard things first. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing the hard stuff first because I would have had a bigger response if I had did the YouTube thing first. YouTube things coming later. Uh, I've got so much to share. I've got so much to instill. I have so much to drop. It's mind blowing because starting this holding company and having this holding company since 2018, I have learned so much. There's so much I'm going to give you guys in the training that you cannot get anywhere else. You want to know why you can't get anywhere else? Because no one else is doing this. I saw a video where this guy has a holding company and I saw how he had it set up and it was just really, really crazy the way he had it set up. And honestly, his setup would not be the setup for the average person because I've been studying, I've been thinking, I've been, because I saw it and I was like, that's interesting. But one of the things is if the average person was to go out and create what he created, they're gonna pay way more in taxes, like substantially more. But he's, you know, he's, he's doing something a little different, but we got a lot of stuff that we're gonna work on, a lot of stuff that we're gonna talk about. This video, it's probably gonna come out Monday because I'm gonna give it to my editor. So I'm gonna be talking about the new thing probably Sunday. So be prepared because the 13th is when the price of the productivity course goes up. And that's gonna be a very different animal. That's gonna be a very different creation because there's one of the things, I'm revamping myself. I'm revamping how I do. I got two completed courses in two months. And I'm very proud of that. I started them, I finished them, I worked on them. And the next course is gonna be much longer than the productivity course. The productivity course comes at 5.5. It's actually almost six hours because the way my training platform, it, it doesn't like if it goes over five and a half hours, it's not gonna count that bit over five and a half because it'll count it when it gets to six hours or six plus hours. But we're at about five hours and 45 minutes. This next course is going to be much bigger than that. It is going to take a lot longer to create. And I'm cool with that because I'm using the system. I'm in my element. I'm in my flow. And I didn't even have this as mapped out as I have it mapped out now in 2009. Didn't even have it mapped out. 
So this is going to be an incredibly powerful situation and you're going to want to be part of this because we're going to be doing some stuff that no one else on the internet is doing because um, I can tell you the YouTube thing. I've never had a big YouTube channel. I've never gotten crazy amounts of views, but I've made millions from YouTube and that's the course I'm going to teach how to make millions of dollars from a small YouTube channel. That's what I've done. So I can teach that and that's going to come probably next after this business thing that we're going to get ready into because it's going to be heavy. It's going to be heavy. We're going to get into a lot. We're going to be talking about a lot. We're going to be doing a lot and we're going to be doing things that are going to be heavy and they're going to be significant and we're going to put together some beautiful things because one of the things that I didn't do before, which I'm not going to do again, I'm going to create these training courses and I'm going to start them and get them finished before I move on to the next one. That's something I didn't do before. And this time we're going to get a lot of stuff done, finished and on point. Once again, the new thing should be out and it's going to be below. I can't really, I can tell you that what I'm thinking about doing is because this next course is going to be so critical, it's going to be so important. I'm going to offer a payment plan and I'm going to offer a one and done. And it's going to be on sale from May to it's finished and i feel once again i feel that this course is going to take me about a month maybe it'll take me six weeks i don't know i don't know i'm not going to know until i actually start to get into it and start doing it but there's going to be a cheaper price for the one and done and then there's going to be a payment plan that i'm going to leave out and let me tell you where i'm going you get on this payment plan during this period, because I haven't thought about it, but during this period, you're going to get everything that I'm going to do this year, but it's not already set up. So what I'll do is just add you to it as this gets done. So this way, all of this stuff I'm coming out. So that's the thing I'm going to do. That's going to be a little different. So it's going to be a one and done payment plan. It's going to be a payment plan. And it's going to be a one and done plan. And we're going to work on getting this puppy crunk because we're getting ready to create, we're getting ready to build, and we're getting ready to start creating corporate citizens. So it'll be below and I'll have it written up so you can go ahead and check it out. My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next video.